Hello YouTube. Uh, I'd like to make a video on logic. A lot of people talk about uh, what is it to be rational. Well, it involves being logical. It's, it involves not having contradictory uh, beliefs. But I'd like to mention something called paraconsistent logic. Uh, well, but before I do that, I will quickly mention that uh, yes, a lot of people talk about being logical, but I'll say logical with respect to what logic there there's classical logic there's there's classical uh, first order logic and that is very uh, very popular but I mean I would like to point out uh, that there are other logics okay Grand Priest uh, wrote a book entitled an introduction to non-classical logic in which he talked about 11 different types of logic when I was first making this video, I decided to read off the entire list of all 11 types of logic. I decided not to do that. Just look in the video description if you really want to know the names of all types, all 11 types of logic that Grand Priest discusses. Some people believe, certain philosophers believe, philosophers of logic, which is different than a logician, by the way, but anyway, they believe that there are true contradictions. So, and one example that I think, it, again, Grand Priest uh, cites is the liar sentence. What is the liar sentence? Well, this sentence is false. Um, why does he think that it, that, uh, that the liar sentence is, that it's true to say that the liar sentence is both true and false? Well, let me talk a little bit about paradoxes. Why is, uh, okay, there's, there's a paradox called the liar paradox based upon the liar sentence. And here it is. So let's assume that the liar sentence is true. What is the liar sentence? Again, um, this sentence is false. So if it's true to say this sentence is false, well, okay, then that sentence is false. So um, that means that it's false to say that this sentence is false. Well, if it's false that it's false, then it's true. Well, okay, and then we're back where we started. If it's true that this sentence is false, then what that sentence says is true, right? What does this sentence say? It says of itself that it's false, okay? Then if it's false to say this sentence is false, well, if it's false that it's false, then the sentence is true. So if, if you're used to just standard classical first order logic, then then you've learned your, learned your truth tables, and you've learned that for all propositions P, or let's just think of a proposition as basically like a sentence that can either be true or false. So um, let's look at, yes, yeah, so let's do the truth tables for the conjunction of some proposition and its negation. So um, P and not P always evaluates to false in, in classical logic. So let's suppose that P is some true sentence, or some true proposition. Well, and then the negation of P would then be a false sentence. So if you evaluate P and not P, well, okay, what does true and false evaluate to? Um, well, that's like asking if, if I tell you one thing that's true uh, and I tell you something that's false, and we're asking whether or not both of these things are true. Well, no, that's it's not true. It's, it's false because um, one of them is false. Hopefully, this isn't that hard to follow. Maybe it is. Um, so again, that was when we assumed that P was true, some true proposition. So let's assume that P is a false proposition, and then let's again evaluate P and not P. Well, if P is false, then the the negation of P is, is true because the negation of um, something false is true, right? Here, the point is, uh, let's think about how this relates to belief and, and rationality, if you wish. Um, typically, if I tell you, if, if I say it's true that God exists and it's not true, normally you'd say, uh, you're an idiot. That doesn't make sense. It's impossible. It can't be the case that something is both true and not true. Well, um, the liar sentence is claimed to be an example of exactly this by some philosophers of logic. 
such as uh, Mr. Priest. So I'm wondering what people think. If, if someone says that they believe, if they assert something and they deny it, uh, if they claim that um, if they claim that the thing that they're asserting and denying is a dialethia, which is just what I've been talking about, dialethia is something such that it is true and its negation is also true. Uh, do you think it's possible to defend a claim by saying, well, um, maybe, maybe when I say that God exists and it's not true that God exists, maybe that doesn't seem like a dialethia, but it actually is. Do you think you can defend uh, certain beliefs like that? Uh, I'm curious. Uh, thanks for watching.